We conducted a study at Macro, the city site, and we interviewed 60 clients. Out of these 60 clients, 30 were females and 30 were males. Uh, the reason for doing this study was that we were concerned that in a counseling setting, uh, wouldn't people be concerned or react to having a computer in, inside the counseling room? Will it disrupt the counseling process? So in order to answer these questions, this study was conducted. We found out actually that the presence of the computer didn't have any effect at all on the counseling uh, process. That is between the relationship of the counselor and the one being counseled. One of the reasons why this was so was because a lot of the uh, respondents uh, in this study uh, thought that the presence of the computer itself is just like any tool that you can have in your office. Take, for example, a phone. Uh, if somebody comes in your office, wouldn't be so much looking at the phone, but you would just realize that it's part of the office equipment. So in the same way, the computer turned out to be one of those office equipment and it didn't really disrupt the counseling process. The other reason given was that um, uh, the major concern of these uh, clients was to have the counseling done. So they were really concerned about the discussion itself rather than who, uh, about the computer or touching of the computer. Out of the 60 clients that were interviewed, only 23 didn't notice that there was a computer present, uh, which means that it's either the casting process was so good that they never noticed any computer being there, or it could be due to high literacy rate in Malawi that they didn't even know that there was a computer there. But also thinking back, uh, the people were told about the computer itself and they were shown and afterwards interviewed after the counseling process but still they didn't recall seeing the computer yet the computer was there and another reason given was that the, the counselor really focused on them, focused on the discussion and also the presence of the keyboard was also mentioned that because this computer is different from the usual computers that they see in the offices or at the workplace or wherever they've seen a computer before, it has a keyboard. In this case, it didn't have a keyboard, so it could have been also one of the reasons that they, they didn't notice the presence of the computer, as the counselor would just touch on the screen and then the data would come out. Another big uh, reason for this also was that the touch screen computer was facing the counselor as a result, it was not breaking the interaction between the client and the counselor. So the, the client wouldn't notice much of the touching on the uh, touch screen computer. We were also concerned about the presence of this touch screen computer in the counseling room. And then we had to administer 12 questionnaires to the counselors. And it turned out that all the 12, uh, 12 counselors indicated that they would prefer the use of the touchscreen computers uh, in comparison to the traditional use of a pen and paper to record information.